Hey, what's up, it's Demon Darts here, and as promised, I'm going to continue looking for signs and symbols in X Factor. Nothing major today, so I can't bother to upload separate videos. Just going to go really, really uh, go through it really, really quickly. Uh, she was the last contestant, orange dress, no big deal, really. I don't think nothing controversial happened with her at all. Uh, what else we got? Who else? Who else? Who else? Oh yeah, so, uh, uh, Louis Walsh, he only, he got rid of the only black contestant and all his contestants left were white Caucasians, so anyone calling out the racist card there, who knows. But I thought the uh, black gentleman was actually pretty good, so I wonder why he got rid of him. And also Benji, he got rid of Benji too, quirky singer, people would have voted for him, got rid of him too, weird, kept this guy instead. All in all, nothing major really on today's X Factor, but it's next week is where it's going to get interesting because we're going to see the judges' houses and how they're going to show us how rich they are with all their wonderful riches. You're not you're not a success in this world if you don't have your own mansion with your own swimming pool and, and a Ferrari outside. That's success. That's fulfillment. Something you should all reach for. Doesn't matter if you can play the guitar or play the piano like a savant. If you're not making money in this world. Well, then you're just nothing. You're a waste of space. Basically, you have no success. It's what these judges are basically going to tell you. In next week's episode, when all the contestants go to the judges' houses. So there you go. Other than that, there was nothing really... Oh, yeah. Where was it? This guy. Real quickly. This guy here, who Louis Walsh got rid of. Yes, don't say her name. Uh, oh, where are we at? Hold on. Come on, come on. So this guy here with the butterfly under his chin. Simon Cow, surprisingly, didn't like him. And they all go on about how he had metamorphosized. Now we know that artists like Katy Perry love the butterfly symbolism and so on, like the monarch mind control rubbish. But uh, maybe Simon thought it was just too blatant to put him on. You know, not that's, you know, maybe he thought it was maybe too blatant, the butterfly tattoo under the chin there. So there you go. Nothing interesting. But next week... It's going to be interesting when they show you what rich means, what fulfillment means in life. If you don't have a swimming pool, then you ain't successful. If you don't have a big mansion somewhere, you ain't successful. Yeah, that's what that's your goal in life. Why would you ever get a flipping butterfly tattoo on your, or on your neck? Too blatant, can't have that symbolism in there. Simon Cowell didn't like him. Shocking, huh? There we go, that's that one for the other.